All right, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Phantom, or FTM, uh, look at Phantom and see what's going on with that. So right now, the market cap, we're looking at $1,400,000,000. It's gone up a little bit um, since earlier. Um, Bitcoin dominance at 61.2%, so it only went up by 0.1% um, since this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at Phantom here. So Phantom is ranked number 55. Many of you know that Phantom has been taking off right now. Um, it has been on a hot streak. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I absolutely have no idea what it is or anything. So let's check it out. Uh, we're looking at the volume, 24 hour volume is 576 million. Um, the circulating supply, hopefully I get this right this time, 2,545,000,000. million. And um, we're looking at a max supply of three billion. So it looks like um, it's there. We go. There's the uh, percentage. I like it when they have the percentage there. It's like eighty um, percent of its circulating supply is going out. So that's good. That's cool. Um, obviously, that's why the price is like, you know, if you got in at like point zero something cents. I mean, like it's at forty eight cents right now. So it's you know it's going to take off. Look at this. Um, we can see here that it definitely has jumped all the way up um, quite a bit. So, um, yeah, all the way up to like 50 cent or so. So let's take a look at Phantom. What is Phantom? Phantom is a directed acyclic, acyclic. Okay. Phantom is a directed acyclic graph or DAG. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about this earlier. Smart contract platform providing decentralized finance services to developers using its own bespoke consensus algorithm. So if many of you guys don't know what DAG is, um, go ahead and check out the video. Um, I believe it's uh, Hollow Chain, The Next Frontier. I have um, actually a graph up that it's, it's, it's all around, but it basically shows the differences between the different distributed ledger technologies out there. So um, obviously you have the DAG, then you have um, header hash graph, then you have hollow chain or the hash graph. Uh, so then you have ha uh, hollow chain. So um, take a look at that. But um, it says together with its in-house token FTM, Phantom aims to solve problems associated with smart contract platforms, specifically transaction speed, which developers say they have reduced to under two seconds. Uh, the Phantom Foundation, which oversees the Phantom product offering, was originally created in 2018 with the launch of Opera, uh, Phantom's main net coming in December 2019. Okay. So who are the founders of Ph Phantom? The Phantom Foundation was founded by South Korean computer scientist Dr. An An Boing, uh, no, I'm gonna mess up his name. Currently, the platform CEO Michael is Michael Kong. The team behind Phantom has extensive experience primarily in the field of full-stack blockchain development and aim to create a smart contract platform which, priv which privileges scalability, decentralization, and security. According to its official website, Phantom's team also consists of specialists, engineers, scientists, researchers, engineers, designers, and entrepreneurs. Employees are located uh, throughout the world uh, matching ethos of a distributed platform. So what's making Phantom unique right now? Well, Phantom attempts to use a new scratch built consensus mechanism to facilitate DeFi and rel um, excuse me and related services on the basis of smart contracts. The mechanism, Lachesis, uh, I believe, promises much higher cap capacity and two second transaction finalization along with improvements to security over traditional proof-of-stake algorithm-based platforms. Matching Ethereum, the project appeals to developers looking to deploy decentralized solutions. According to its uh, official uh, literature, its mission is to grant uh, capability between all transaction bodies around the world. Its in-house POS, um, excuse me, well, I didn't mean to say it like that, but um, its in-house uh, token, POS token, um, FTM, forms the backbone of transactions and allows fee collections and staking activities along with the user rewards um, rewards the latter represents. So through uh, token sales in 2018, Phantom raised almost for what, 40 million in fund development. So 
Um, it does say right here, it, it's what makes it unique. But um, to be honest with you guys, um, this is what uh, they're, they're trying to solve a solution that many other projects are trying to solve as well. But it is unique in the sense of it does it does use a different um, uh, mechanism. What I should have done was I should have pulled the chart up um, to actually show you guys the differences of what's going on here. So I believe that with them running on um, DAG, because I, at first I didn't um, I didn't know what it meant, but then when I read it and then said DAG smart contract platform provided, um, I knew I knew immediately about what what's that about. So. Um, let's go ahead. Let me see if I can click here. And so what is directed a cyclic graph? Um, now for many of you, if you want to know more about it, um, as far as knowing the different transaction speeds, uh, I have a graph on that video, um, that talks about DAG, but, it, um, let's go ahead and take a look at DAG specifically. Uh, directed acyclic graphs consist of verti vertices and edges. There are no blocks, unlike in a blockchain. See, this is a different uh, distributed ledger technology or a different DLT. Um, instead, transactions are recorded as vertices, and these are recorded on top of another. Transactions are submitted to the DAG by nodes, much like on a blockchain. In order to submit a transaction, a node must complete a proof-of-work task. In a DAG, every new transaction must reference previous transactions in order to be accepted to the network in a similar manner to the way which blocks on a blockchain contain references to the previous blocks. When a transaction is referenced by another transaction, it is confirmed. In order for that transaction to be confirmed, it must be referenced by a further transaction and so on and so on. The tip on which a new transaction will be built is determined by an algorithm. Tips um, with more conf confirmations are more likely to be selected for building. DAGs have a, a number of perceived advantages. Transaction speeds are high as processing is not limited by a block creation. There are no transaction fees because there are no miners. And of course, the lack of mining has huge ev environmental benefits. Um, however, there are significant drawbacks too. Perhaps the most important one is that they are not fully decentralized, unlike blockchains. In addition, the use of DAGs, DAG in cryptocurrency setting is very much in its infancy. And this is true. This is all new um, DLT technologies that's coming up. These two factors combine to mean that for the most part, DAGs are now used primarily as a way uh, to get a network started rather than a system on which to build a stable and, la and lasting network. So, um, I really, honestly, this is awesome. Uh, we're going to take a look at it, its website. Like I told you guys before, I really, really, um, do wish I had that, um, oh my goodness, that, that, um, chart up so I can show you guys, but please, I, I, I definitely recommend you guys take a look at, um, the video hollow chain that's frontier so you can get a better understanding of the different technology and what phantom is actually using this is why it's extremely this is why i made videos like this so you guys know when new technology like this comes out you can compare it to what's newer or what's newer so as you guys know um like we have a regular blockchain a regular dlt then we have dag and then we have um hetera which i told you guys before hetera is going to take off and then um, when it says one of the weaknesses of Phantom is the fact that it's not um, fully decentralized. It's going, there are going to be things to make um, certain things fully decentralized. As far as um, the transactions per second, it's going to get faster. Um, I don't, how should I say, there's a lot, that, there's a lot going on out there in which, um, the, the transactions are going to be faster. Many of you guys already know that I'm I'm a huge fan of Holochain. So obviously Holochain is not going to have those um that um that that crutch there. So but at the same time this is something new. This is something different and you also have to look at can how can it be used? Not all technology is going to be used the same way. And sometimes someone might want to use DAG instead of using Holochain for example. I don't know why, but they might, you know, um but we are leaning towards a future of not this whole proof of work, this whole um, mining stuff is starting to go away and you're not going to have to need mining, um, especially when it comes to um, 
DAG, Hetera, and especially a hollow chain. There's no mining that's going to be necessary. So again, that's great for environmental. You know, that's one of the excuses that we hear now is, oh, yeah, Bitcoin is sucking up all the energy. Well, what's going to happen when there's no excuse? It's the only excuse they're going to have is, or they talk about, oh, it's decentralized now, and we got criminals doing all, doing whatever. You know, they're going to make whatever excuse they want to be able to try to control people. But again, going back to this. Um, I do like this um, this um, this technology. This is again, this is the step a step past DLT, so um, or did, uh, regular distributed ledger um, that's run on um, a blockchain. So it says intro to Phantom. Phantom is a high performance, scalable, custom, customizable, and secure smart contract platform. It is designed to overcome the limitations of previous generation platforms. Obviously, Phantom is permissionless, decentralized, and, and open source. Lachesis, its revolutionary ABFT consistency mechanism, allows Phantom to be much faster and cheaper than older technologies, yet extremely secure. Instead of centralizing all computer power and usage on a single decentralized ledger, the user of the Phantom ecosystem can deploy their own independent networks. Again, this is very, very, as you guys can see, I like, like, I'm telling you guys, this is a great project. This is the next thing up. But as I stated before, um, for, for many of you guys, I know if you are Phantom um, fans out there, I'm not talking bad about your project. I'm really not. This is a great project. This is the next step up. This is past blockchain. Um, not past blockchain. It's still blockchain, but it's a different kind of blockchain. It's a different kind of distributed distributed ledger technology. And then obviously we got to, um, and then the next step past this is actually um, hetero. And then the next step past that is actually hollow chain. So um, look, you guys, I always tell you guys, make sure you do your own research, and this is why here, because this is going to take off. I don't know how long, but there are going to be a lot of um, companies that are going to want to use Phantom for various reasons, and you know, not all technology is the same. Sometimes you don't. Um, sometimes you do want things to be more centralized. You know, it just depends on what country you're in, what government is going to be using it, and what the citizens are, and how the citizens are going to be using it. So. Again, this is a. Um, I believe that this is a great um, crypt, uh, project. Excuse me. So it says, "Why Phantom?" Let's read this real quick. The birth of Bitcoin in 2019 represented a big step forward in technology and a further move towards a more efficiency efficient society. However, Bitcoin was not built to scale, and its consistent consistency mechanism to engine that powers the blockchain is limited by design. Current solutions make trade-off between three components, scalability, security, and decentralization. This is known as the blockchain trilemma. Bitcoin, for example, focuses on decentralized decentralization and security, which makes it uh, less suited for any kind of transaction that requires speed and fast confirmation like day-to-day -day payments, data transfer, asset trading, or other transactions consumers and businesses rely on in everyday life. And this is true. Like, it's not really efficient. It's not really for that. As I've always stated before, Bitcoin is going to be used as a store of value. I don't know why people, um, we got Bitcoin maximalists out there who believe that, you know, we're all going to be using Satoshis and stuff like that. And I know that there are going to be things um, more, uh, uh, like using the lightning network and things that uh, technology built on, um, on, um, you know, the, the blockchains, um, the blockchain, Bitcoin's blockchain, but you know, it's just what it is, especially the legacy, uh, financial system. It says from the processes that happen in the back end, the consumer facing, uh, solutions require high throughput and fast finality. Decentralizing these services at scale while providing bank-grade security represents a challenge for the whole blockchain industry. Phantom tackles the problem at, at its core. Its high-speed consistency mechanism, the Kesis, allows digital assets to operate at unprecedented speed and deliver dramatic improvements over the current systems. And yes, we do have a speed issue. We do have a speed problem. So again, like I said, this we need projects like this. Um, this is a solid um, project. Unlike the other solution, Phantom does not sacrifice security and decentralization in favor of scalability. Indeed, the advantages brought by Phantom are not merely pure performance. Its modular architect allows for full customization of blockchains for digital assets with different characteristics tailored to their use case. Phantom also offers exceptionally high levels of security by using a leaderless proof-of-stake protocol to the secure network. Um, Phantom's ABFT consists is called Lachesis is 
uh, capable of scaling to many nodes around the world in a permissionless open environment, providing a good degree of decentralization. It does not use delegated proof of stake and has no concept of master nodes. This is great. Um, and it says a, a good degree of decentralization. So that's awesome. Um, I'm not going to read all of this. You guys can see it for yourselves um, and just talk about how uh, um, being scalable um environmental friendly obviously if um it, it's a proof of stake so it's not proof of work and you don't have to uh, mine it so that's cool um and you know it being an open source so uh phantom is permissionless anyone can run a node so that that's awesome i mean this is this is this is uh, on Phantom's Opera chain. A virtually unlimited number of validator nodes can participate in securing the network as long as they keep a minimum of 3,175,000 FTM at stake. That is interesting. Um, okay, that's a very specific number too. If you own lower amounts of the token or you're not an expert in running distributed systems, you can still participate in securing a network. You can delegate a minimum of one FTM to a validated node and get rewarded. Interesting. So where is it going? Phantom is based on Lachesis, an innovative BFT consensus. On top of that, we are creating a blockchain ecosystem, <coughs> excuse me, along with the whole blockchain technology stack. We're building the infrastructure for a more connected and efficient future where people will be able to take advantage of the technological breakthroughs to improve quality of their lives. We are humble and proud to uh, be part of the digital revolution that will eventually permeate all aspects of our lives from payments in a fully digital economy to um, digital identity, medical records, um, to create a global scale internet of digital assets. People, it's happening. I don't really understand it. There's a lot of people in this world that um, they, they talk bad about uh, cryptocurrency. They're not, they, they're really, really looking at Bitcoin's price and it's going up and down. They're not really paying attention to the technology. Folks, you know, I'm not, I'm just a regular guy. You know, I'm not a professional anything. I'm not a professional um, ev um, advisor. I'm not a professional, you know, financial expert. Um, the only professional thing I think I am is a professional basketball coach, but that's neither here nor there. I always say that. Um, but the, the thing about it is, is that, you know, I'm just a regular guy, just like you guys. That's why it's extremely important for you guys, or you all, to do your own research and you'll be just fine so uh thank you guys for taking out um phantom phantom is for me has um you know one thumb up i can't say two thumbs up because obviously the technology is not as good as hollow chain but the thing about it is it's advanced further already than hollow chain because hollow chain is not really fully out yet phantom um is probably closer to um being where it really wants to be at and then also um, solving the immediate problems that we have now with blockchain technology. So it does have, get, does get a thumbs up from me. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for um, going through this with me. And as I've always said, do your own research. And most importantly, stay safe out there, you guys.